Hello there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up Better DS3 Tool. If you don't know what it is, it basically allows you to plug your PS3 controller into your PC and use it to play any games that require an Xbox controller, or you can also use it to emulate keystrokes and X input devices. And you will also be able to pair it via Bluetooth or just plug it in via USB cable. So before you can do anything, you'll need to click the download button on the Better DS3 website. All links will be in the description. And you will also need to go to this Mediafire link and download PS3X64, or if you're on 32-bit, PS3X86. Uh, alternatively, you will see other tutorials will use a program called MotionJoy. Better DS3 tool does a better job than that because it does not plug in any ads and it also gives less blue screens due to issues so once you have it downloaded you'll have two zip files and you can just extract them both so now here are the extracted files so first we'll need to attend to the ps3x64 so before you can do anything plug your ps3 controller in And uh, pretty sure my computer already recognizes it, but uh, you'll usually see some uh, device installing. So once you've done that, go to Start and click Devices and Printers, and you should see a PS3 controller. You will want to right-click that and go to Properties. Once you're here, go to Hardware and click USB Input Device. Then click Properties, click Change Settings, then go to Driver. Once here, click Update Driver and Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Then click Browse and find the PS3X64 folder. Mine is already on it. And click OK. Then click Next. And then this will come up and make sure to click install. Do not unplug your device or else things will go bad. And then it should successfully install it and you'll see a little notifier in the bottom right and your device should be installed. You'll hear a bunch of beeps and boops and all that jazz. So then you can close this up. And you should also see an HID compliant game controller now. Then you can close this and now you can open Better DS3 Tool and you should notice your DualShock controller. If it's six axis, it should also work, but I'm using a DualShock 3 via USB. Now I don't have a Bluetooth adapter, uh, but you can buy them pretty cheap or they'll come built into laptops. And if that's the case, you can also pair that and if it's really that difficult for you I'm sure you can find another tutorial that tells you how to do so now, I already have profiles in here but you can set up a new profile there's direct input there's X input there's keyboard mouse and there's PC SX2 which is the PS2 emulator so if you're playing a game on Steam that has a controller set up you can use X input and you'll see it like so, and you can just name this whatever. So my controller's red, so I'll just name it red. And you can automatically apply to controller when connected if you're always going to use this. And you can click autofill Xbox 360, and it will fill out all the instructions for you, or you can do them manually if you know what you're doing. And then also if you have PlayStation Move, you can click the drop down. And then down here you can test the vibrator if you're into that stuff. So then you can save profile. So now let's go test the game. Okay, so I'm in DSX uh, Human Revolution and I'm using the controller. Here, wait, let me see. Uh, it says like select, it has little Xbox buttons. And I just want to say this company has no idea how to make controls, but it's a thing. Um, so. It does work if it doesn't work on all Steam games. You know, there's some supported, but a lot of them you can just kind of 
mess around with if you really want a controller. And, you know, like, PC Mastery, so I don't know why you would ever use this, but this tutorial's here for you in case you want to use a controller. And also, uh, if you just set it up as an Xbox controller, PC SX2, the PS2 emulator, will noti will notice that your controller is an or it's being emulated as an Xbox controller, which is how Steam games notice it as well. Oh, died. Well, um, that's basically it. So, hope this helped. If you have any questions about setting up the controller, or with the Bluetooth, uh, just let me know and I'll help, like, instantaneously. Peace.